friend of mine, but I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> yes, my name is Devisha, but I go by Queen Bee Chef, Queen Bee to be exact, and I'm the owner of Queen Bee Creations, mm -hmm. and we are located in Houston, Texas. Yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna get more into. I'm gonna ask her questions while we cooking, but let's let them know what we're making today. What's it called? What's it called? It? Okay, so today we're doing creamy Cajun and spinach. Uh, garlic chicken, mm. which is we're using chicken thighs. Okay. Um, we're gonna do bacon wrapped um, asparagus and garlic ranch herb mashed potatoes. Yeah, so y'all, she gonna teach us how to make this. Y'all, all oh, her food be so so good, and she travels too, which we're gonna get into that. Um, cause she, you know, she's a chef, so she travels, and y'all know I live in Dallas, so you know she be having to come to me <laughs> and, and feed me, cause that food be so good. So, um, so yeah, so what we gonna start with? I'm gonna start washing my feet, y'all, cause I need to wash my feet, cause she got me wrapping the asparagus with a little bacon. Okay, we need her to work today, y'all. Okay, period. Okay. Put me to work. <laughs> <laughs> So actually while you can wrap the asparagus, I'm going to start seasoning the chicken. Okay. And I wish you guys know what seasonings I'm using because I'm using quite a few. Okay. So I'm going to, um, now I'm going to um, do the camera. And be curious. So, we're about to go ahead and put the potatoes on. Mm -hmm. Always soak your potatoes in cold water so that they do not turn brown. Oh. <laughs> so y'all, she putting the potatoes in in the water, and we're gonna add some chicken bouillon because we like our potatoes flavored. Okay. So what you doing? Now we're adding some chicken bouillon. Mm hmm. It can be, you put as much as you like, but I like mine it's really flavored, okay? We have this preheated on a medium high heat. This is what we're gonna be frying the chicken in. And let's go ahead and season this chicken. Okay, let's season this chicken. So yeah, as y'all know, well what kind of, okay, so you baking the chicken? The chicken is going to be pan seared on the stove. It's gonna be cooked on the stove. Oh, so the chicken's gonna be cooked on the stove. Cause I just got into frying chicken. Like frying it like in a deep fryer? Uh huh. Cooking oh, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Cause I just really just started cooking. I don't like cooking like that. But I could cook, but I just don't like cooking like that, you know? Right. So, um, yeah, this will be something new. Like something you try, huh? Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna spoil with some complete seasoning. Some of the best season out there, okay? Okay. Season. Be generous. If you ain't sneezing, then you ain't put enough season. Okay. <laughs> the chef always got like little cook jokes. Cause what? The onion powder. Now with onion powder and garlic powder, because there's no salt in it, you can use as much as you like. Me, preferably, I love using a lot of onion powder and a lot of garlic powder. Uh, garlic powder. It's also good for you, so. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna use a little Larry's sea salt or seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you cannot use salt or if you cannot eat salt, you can always use Mrs. Dash. Um, I like it for Mrs. Dash. She's amazing. I like do a little Mrs. curry seasoning for the color, okay? Mm -hmm. And for the flavor. Right. Got to use a little ginger. Ginger is also good for you too. Okay. Mind you, mind all of these seasons have no salt, so you can put as much as you like, and it's all good for you. All good for you. Cause health is wealth. Okay. A little lemon pepper. Health is wealth. Take notes. Okay. <laughs> we we'll use a little cayenne, cause we want a little kick, not too much. Okay. We don't want it too spicy, but we want a little kick to her. She is rigging. I'm gonna do a little rosemary, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now, 
You have to flip the chicken over, massage it in, love on your food. Y'all mm. have to love on that, okay? Love on it. Get All up that under that skin, in. that extra seasoning, you rub that meat in there. See that? Season that. Don't miss that out. <laughs> Don't miss that out because that's where all the season got to be. It's the juices. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over and season the other side. Now I don't know who told y'all to season one side of the chicken or the meat because there's two sides to every story. Okay. <laughs> so you got to get up under there. Heard that. Okay. I'm going to do the same over here. So the same go on the other side. So y'all, I'm about to um sit this camera down and I'm about to, I have a little cooking to do. Well, not really. Prepping. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little prepping to do, y'all. So I am in Houston right now. And I know y'all don't know. Oh, but these strips make my eye look so weird. I don't like that. I'm going to get my eyelashes done when I go back home. <laughs> I always when I go back home. Um, but yeah, so I need to start. Who's a little spinach? <laughs> yes, y'all. So it's going down today up in here, but we can eat good. Yes. So y'all, if y'all want to watch me uh, eat this food, I will have another video. Of me eating the food, doing a little mukbang. So, I always wash your hands with chicken. Okay. Yeah, salmonella. Okay, always do that. Always meat. wash your hands after you mess with the chicken. Always, always, <laughs> always. So I'm going to take the um. She take two asparagus. Yeah, we double it up. Asparagus. Can go halfway. Put some more bacon on there. No, that means you did not stretch it out. No. Okay. So, so um, teach me, teach me how. Yes. All right. Huh? All right. So bacon stretches. So we're gonna start here. Mm -hmm. Stretch it out. Oh, I need to pull her. Mm-hmm. Pull her. Wrap her up top. Did she get to right there? She good to go. Okay, okay, okay. Bam! And okay. now she about to do her job. Okay. <laughs> Here I go, y'all. Here I go. Let <laughs> <laughs> me just a bit more confident today. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, so, um, first of all, this college. Um, I am on vacation. And while I'm on vacation, I love to work also. Like, you know, you gotta do both. So, um, I met Davisha. When did I meet you? Like a couple months ago, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this is Queen B, Lily's best friend. And ever since I met her, we just clicked. And I was just so period. <laughs> and it's still on B. And um, the first time I came to her house, she cooked. And y'all, I fell in love. <laughs> I was like, oh. You know how to cook, baby. Oh yeah, that's when you had the cheeseburger and bros. Mm-hmm. And some of them were infused. Yeah, for, she for the uh, there were other people. There was a ladies' night. Uh, other yes. ladies who indulge in those things. So I do cater to all. No, she she caters to like. all. Yes. Yeah. So y'all, so she do have infused. Um. Like I gotta stretch this bacon some more. Okay, I'm doing. <laughs> She um uh, has infused food. Oh, that's good too. I need to try that out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, infused with cannabis and with uh, alcohol because I do have my peach cobblers that I make with him. Is that good? Did I do it right? Yes. Okay, big bird. Here I go, y'all. 
Now, Queen B. Rub this chicken up. It is full of Rub the chicken. So let's see what the chicken looks like, y'all. She's been rubbing it up. Always just clean as you go. So you don't have as much dishes later on. Good tip. I don't know what Mama happened to the music, y'all. Let's take a look at the chicken, chicken. chicken look like. Ooh. Yeah, I see that chicken season down Come to the on, bone. Queen B. Down to the bone. Y'all, we supposed to have the YouTube instrumental music playing in the background, but it stopped. And I don't know what happened. So I guess it just wanted to talk to y'all. Right. Because we got to tell y'all about Cali, too. So. I went to Cali with her, with Davisha and Queen B. Queen B. <laughs> same people. I went to the same person. I went to Cali with Queen J and Davisha, Queen B. And um, we had a lit time. Like, it was lit. Very expensive. Very. The food was... Mediocre. Yeah. Like, we could have bought groceries and paid Davisha to cook. Queen B, <laughs> because um yeah the food wasn't like all that good. Yeah, but the experience was absolutely everything. Yes, most definitely. So in the pan I have some grapeseed oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil. Um, I would not suggest using olive oil because it's not a good frying oil. That's more for sauteing. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to pan fry these chicken thighs on each side. And then we're going to take them out, make the cream sauce, and then let them cook in that cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So, oh. so you about to put the meat on? Yes. So we need to go over there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see about the meat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wrap this. We can wait to finish wrapping. Okay. She go wait for me. Cause baby, you don't play with me in my wrapping skills. <laughs> don't play with me. I'm real focused, y'all. I be focused. Okay, but why this slider? They fixed it. Damn. And they like swimmer. <laughs> um, but what else happened? Oh. So when we was in Cali, we um what happened? Like that was my first time ever riding in the car with her. Oh, Yes, y'all, so she have never drove, like Rick rode with me. She never rode with me in a car. And so she was like, and me and Queen J, I'm gonna put in like the video clip of us. <laughs> so, <laughs> that bitch said our lives in our feet. <laughs> y'all like us in our foot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what <laughs> Y'all ready? <laughs> Life is in their feet, baby. Cause me and Queen J was in the front, baby, and it was time for us to make some moves. Okay. And she was like, she wants to drive. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, uh, yeah. It's gonna be. This is something new for me. I want to see how you drive, <laughs> baby. That lady got behind that wheel, and you, you know, she from Texas, baby, because she was swinging. I think. Ah! You hear me? I said, oh yeah, you drive the rest of the trip. I ain't driving no more. Yeah, after that, she was like, one drive. And then, y'all, like, oh, every time I'm with Queen B and Queen J, like, we get lit every time. We went That's from cool. Cali to Las Vegas, back to Cali in one day, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, literally. Played the slots machine, won, then lost what we won. <laughs> then it was bad. Oh, my God. Everybody was sleeping on my back. And we was hungry. That they don't have no water burger and this and that. <laughs> that was said. What did we eat? And when uh, we got back. Did we even eat? We ate that little burrito place. Oh uh, yeah. The burrito. It was a burrito it. place that was good. What was that Ooh, called? I don't know. We ordered them DoorDash. Tony's or something. I don't know. It was some breakfast burrito place, y'all. 
on DoorDash. That was busting though. Can't lie about that. That was good. All the other stuff, mm. it was cool. They could have saved it. <laughs> they could have saved my money. But the experience was lit. Very much so lit. Mm -hmm. The vibe was lit. Also, too, y'all, um, y'all heard me if if y'all keep up to date with me. Um, my last like a couple videos, I talked about how I would write on a piece of paper and um and I would burn it. Oh, I did that with right Queen B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did our manifestations under the full moon. Oh, it was amazing. Yes, the vibes, like the energy, it was just. It was cool. Like I needed that trip, so yeah, that was fun. We released a lot of things, and ever since then, man, we have been walking mm -hmm. in victory. Yeah, sip strength. <laughs> Period. Just a little juice, you all. <laughs> now I'm gonna start this chicken because I don't want this grease getting any more hotter. hotter. Okay, so let's go over there. I bring it out. Mm -hmm. Then, then well, I finished this. Y'all know how I'm rapping. Y'all get the, y'all get it. It's with the feet, duh. <laughs> <laughs> it's with the feet. So, all right. So, this grease is pretty hot. We're gonna start by putting it skin down first. We're gonna hit the sizzle. Oh yeah. That's how you know that grease is ready when it's just the sizzling. Okay. Now don't forget I have it on medium high heat and I did use grapeseed oil which is very good for you. Very good for you. Skin side down first. It's just, it's just season so well. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah, you can smell it and feel it. We're going to try to fit all of these up in here. I got two more left, but we're going to get them in here. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Got them all in. And we're gonna let this sizzle. As the potatoes are boiling. Cooking is very therapeutic. At least it should be for you. If you feel like it's stressful for you, I don't know why when that is how you should eat. You gotta cook in order to eat and sustain in life. So because energy does transfer from literally everything, food, mm -hmm. uh, people, places, things, and while you're cooking, you should always smile and transfer it into your food. You gotta cook with Yeah, love. most definitely. Most definitely. That's why a lot of these restaurants food nasty. Yes. And we be mad work. after we eat it because they make their mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. They make because they ain't work. Instead of being grateful, they gotta do it. Woo. She said, we're going to say that for another day. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Yes, it do. We're going to cook the asparagus on a... We're going to cook the asparagus on a cast iron grill. Okay. The oven is preheated. However, we're gonna like roast the um, asparagus on both sides to get the bacon a little charred. And we're gonna try to finish it in the oven. We're not gonna try to overcook our asparagus because I don't like my, I like my asparagus to still have that crunch because vegetables still supposed to have that crunch so you have those nutrients. If it is too soft, you have cooked all the nutrients out and at this point you just, you just eat it to be eaten. And I'll let eating just to be eaten because I don't even like vegetables like that. So, don't cook it all the way down, basically. Mm -hmm. To sum up the 
story. Right. <laughs> I found the trick though. Instead of starting at the end, just start in the middle. And then just twist it. Towards the bottom and then another part towards the top. Mm-hmm. Yep. You gotta adapt to it. Okay, you gotta do what works for you. Yes. Okay, because what works for one might not work for the other. And that. Come on, potato. They over here in a warm anymore. And boom. Period. Y'all, I be so excited when I come down here. Cause I know she gonna cook. And, <laughs> and, and I always look at her um, her Facebook and she always posting like what she cooked that day or whatever the case may be. And baby, I be jelly. <laughs> because my mouth be getting watery. <laughs> and I be just needing a little bite. Just a little bit. Yeah, so when I come to Houston, I, I come see Queen B every time. Y'all gotta order y'all a plate if y'all ever come to Houston. She do plates, she travel, cater, I like meal preps. Meal preps. Yes. Whew, only shoes in Dallas. Lord. Which I'm thinking about coming out there and doing a pop up shop, so. Yes. Let, Let me know, know if you guys are willing mm -hmm. to support. Yes. Yeah, so y'all comment down below if if she come out here, come to Dallas and do a pop up shop. Like, what's up? And then I could do we can do a meet and greet. Oh yeah. All in one. All inclusive. Yeah. I flipped two chickens over. Let me just show y'all something real quick. Show them. Show them. Let's take a gander. <laughs> this is how you want it to look. See that brown crust? And we're going to flip another. Oh, yes. That's that's how you want it. Okay? We want it crustified like that. Crustified. That's how that good seasoning you use. Yes. Okay? Good thing about grapeseed oil is good for the heart, so therefore that means I don't got to pull this oil off. I can use this in my gravy. Look at God. <laughs> We're trying to look out for our health, y'all. We're trying to do better. We want to live a little longer. See, that one ain't right. black enough, so we're going to let her fry a little longer. But we want it, we want it caramel skinned today. <laughs> With a little dark skin crust. Mm -hmm. Not quite. But you see, you see what it's hitting for. See those yeah. potatoes rolling? Mm-hmm. And she done wrapping. Ah! So y'all, I wrap the, um, I wrap the asparagus with the bacon. Y'all know the vibe. Y'all know your girl. So yeah, so. It's lit, y'all. I'm ready, really. <laughs> All right, y'all. So she is flipping that chicken, baby. Mm, look at that. Ooh. That's greatness right there. Y'all see that? Mm. You glory to God, saints. Yes, up. That's right. It's beautiful. Deliciousness. Delicious. The potatoes are becoming pork tender, but we, I want them soft stop because I want them Smooth, creamy. We're making creamy mm. garlic herb potatoes. Mmm, creamy. Ooh, that creamy gonna be under that chicken and on top. Mm. Oh, that sounds so good. Yes, Lord. Mmm. 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 Um, I can sit her over here for you so they okay. can see you. Okay. <laughs> you can spin the block. <laughs> she got the sizzle. You hear that? Oh, she sizzles. You know, you know the vibe. You know the vibe. Y'all know the vibe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put that on the side. Just a little sizzle, y'all. Just a little sizzle. <laughs> oh. Oh, here's red bacon. 
bacon trying to leave me. My bacon trying to leave me. Uh oh, uh oh, I dropped it in there, y'all. Yeah, do it right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did I do it right? Okay, I did. Drop it in, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's time to eat, eat. I'm mean, not supposed to put it on them. Uh, she's just a monster. Yeah, not allowed in that shit. And we're just gonna put a little complete seasoning on top. Okay. I love to eat. I love to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, baby. It's gonna be so good, on. This and this one is a potato snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add some. Will you boil it? We'll boil it. Half and half. Okay, half and half. So you just eyeball it. I just, I did. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't really yeah. measure nothing. Yeah, because when you, most people, like, when they cook, they don't butter. Really butter. Real butter, not margarine. Butter. Butter. Butter, butter. butter make it taste better. Butter, butter. All right. Get it. Mmm. 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 It's basically Italian season. Okay. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder. Yeah, garlic powder. And you need ranch seed. The ranch is going to bring the salt, so you don't have to get no salt in it. This thing hidden belly ranch season, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. In case y'all was like, what ranch season? Hidden belly ranch. Hidden belly ranch season. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. Hidden belly ranch season. Little rosemary. I want a little piece of rosemary. Stir it up. Now you can always add more milk butter. Cause I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream. But I just add it to half and half first. Now I do not have this eye on, it's off. Just so the, uh, the burner and stuff is off. It's still just cooking from the previous heat. No actually has whipped cream. And I'm actually about to flip this chicken. Can you say that for me? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take the chicken out and then work on our cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Ooh, y'all, this looks so good. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put this chicken. I'm going to put this So now we're going to take the chicken out. Okay. Then we can work on our cream sauce because the chicken is going to finish cooking in the sauce. Mm, y'all, look at 
Panthers completely. Now, this is, um, this is half a yellow onion, this is uh, half a salad, I'm going to pour that in this grease. Then I have some fresh garlic, parsley, and green onions. Put all of that in. I want to saute this down. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It is so good already. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. I wish you could smell from YouTube. Right. Wish I could smell through the, I don't know, camera. Okay. <laughs> add a smellometer. Add a little bit more heavy whipped cream, but I'm also going to add some milk to thin that out. Oh, milk. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to add some butter over here. Some heavy with the cream, all of this heavy with the cream to be good. Okay. Now this is some cheese sauce that I had left over. I don't believe in throwing away leftovers. This is a cheese truffle sauce that I'm going to use in, in this sauce. And this too is also just a cheese garlic sauce. So we're gonna just add these cheeses because we love cheese. And mm -hmm. y'all, all of these cheeses, let me be very clear, I use these today from my business earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let me just put that disclaimer out there. And we're gonna mix that up. Okay. Now, we put French garlic in there, but I also love minced garlic. Okay. We're we'll going to add a little oregano. This is Italian seasoning on mm -hmm. the cashew. So good, y'all. Y'all should use this. If you make homemade Alfredo sauce, add this to it. Bless your life. Alright. Okay. Stir that up. And now we're gonna add some cheese. Parmesan. Shaved Parmesan cheese. Okay. Whatever your soul says. Okay. Our soul is saying cheese. Cheese. Cheese me, please. <laughs> cheese me, please. Now we just want to stir that up, and then what's going to happen now? I'm going to add a little bit more milk, then I'm going to add the chicken back up in there and let it mm. do what it do tonight. Let's put the bread up because we don't want it to burn. It's okay if it is because we like our bacon a little dark. Yeah. I do like my bacon crunchy. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add some cheese. 
going to taste this sauce because we don't want to add the chicken in there. But the sauce ain't right. You did. Heard that. So let's get at the stomach. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicioso. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was good. Now, y'all thought we had forgot about the spinach. Let's go and put that in there. Gonna put the spinach in there. And let it cook down in the sauce. Now, because I am adding spinach, and because when you cook spinach down, it, it renders off water. I am gonna add some more seasoning. Cause baby, we don't want no non-seasoned food around here. Like, okay, turn that. Well, a little seasoned salt, a little complete seasoning. Give me a little complete seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> baby, I told you, do it your soul and spice. And now we're gonna stir that up. Open up. Oh, I had almost forgot about that big spinach. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you know what else I'm going to add up in here? My favorite. Which one? Garlic powder. <laughs> you can never have too much garlic powder. Okay. We're going to stir it up. Mmm. That's going to be good, y'all. I'm just mm -hmm. going to tell you. Oh, so definitely let me let her know if y'all retry this at home. Recreate this. Yes. Comment down below if y'all gonna try this at home. And wait till I do the mukbang. I know y'all gonna really wanna try it. All right. Now we're about to add the chicken into this delicious sauce. Look at that. Mm. Put that down in there. Ooh. Yes. Yes, you should. It smells absolutely amazing, guys. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And I know y'all probably thinking, what you gonna do with this? Baby, we're gonna pour that uh, right up in this sauce, honey. Yeah. We ain't wasting Nathania. I mean, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> All this good flavor and juice up in there. Then you see, we're gonna pour it up in there. Mm. Mm hmm. Right? We're gonna mm. come on over here and we're gonna sit that in there. Oh yes. And now we're gonna cut it down to medium and you're gonna let it just simmer and do what it do for about 20 minutes until it is, the chicken is internal temperature is about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, I say cook it until it's fork tender. Old school fork tender. You stick the fork in, and if the meat come out, it's there. Now, if you still see a little pink, baby, you need to let it cook a little longer. Yeah. Get these folks salmonella. And that's gonna be <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, we're gonna let that saute down, and we'll be back at the end. All right, y'all, so I am about to, hold on. I'm about to say my grace, um, and I'm gonna take a bite of this food, but y'all gotta watch the mukbang. Like, I'm not gonna eat all this food on here. Y'all know how I do. So, y'all watch the next video if y'all haven't watched it already. Um, so yeah, let me take a bite of this food. Oh, let me say my grace first. God is great, God is with us. Thank you for our food, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Give us more daily bread, amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for everything, Lord God. Thank you for Queen B. Thank you for her. Thank you, and shout out to you and her, Lord God, for making this food for me, Lord. And um, Lord God, I just pray that we just continue to grow our business and everything. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. 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 Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. So good. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, you can't go. So good, y'all. Okay. Let me take a bite. A little asparagus. Wrap with bacon. And I, I, well, I halfly made it. I prepped it. You made it. Yeah. Here. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.